Hello everyone, Dr. Taculus Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own Minecraft server. And right now, um, the new version 1.5.1, I, I believe, just came out. But this tutorial will work for any f um, future updates, so 1.5.2, 1.6, 1.7, any uh, any future updates. So don't worry about that. And so just whatever the title says, it will work. Um, so just keep that in mind. And so yeah, let's get started. So you just want to start off by going to minecraft.net. Um, all the links will be in the description, so don't worry about that. So probably just click in the description, and it will bring you here. You don't have to log in. All you have to do is just go right here where it says download, click there. And then uh, it says multiplayer server. And then you want to do this one right here. So just click on it and it should automatically download. And it has already downloaded, I think. It says zero seconds. All right. All right. There we go. Downloaded. Now we can just minimize this and um, on your desktop. Or you don't really have to, do, it doesn't really have to be on your desktop, but it's a lot easier if it is you want to create a folder so you want to right click click new and then folder so you can name the server whatever just name it server or you, your choice it doesn't really matter here we go it's name server and now um, you want to find what this thing that you downloaded minecraft server and you want to put it into into that folder so let's just drag it into this folder and I suggest um, I suggest using uh, Google Chrome, but it's your choice. So in this in this folder, you have this, and all you want to do is double click on it. So click on it twice, and then you can run it. So when it's running, you're basically running the server, but you can't join yet. And as you can see, it's making all these folders and all these uh, like new things, and just let it go until it says done. So it says 40% done, 43% done, 48% done, 52% done, etc. Um, so while this is going, it'll only take a couple more seconds. Uh, let's just head on to the next website we need to go to. Um, there are two ways to connect. You can either port forward and you can use Hamachi. So um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use Hamachi, but I will be making a different tutorial in the future on how to port forward but that will be in the future so I think Hamachi is a lot easier to use and it's a lot easier to um, uh, connect to usually because port, well, port, forwarding, port forwarding is a lot harder to do and a lot of people can't do it so or aren't even allowed but yeah let's just type in Hamachi link will be in the oop I spelled it wrong link will be in the description this link right here click on it and you want to click download now this is not a virus at all people in the last tutorial uh, were saying that it was always oh, to confirm um, but if it was a virus I wouldn't be downloading it so don't worry it's not a virus so you just want to download that too and um, while that's downloading uh, this as you can see right here it says done when it says done you can just exit but the server is running but no one can connect to it because we need we need a network so let's open up Hamachi and we need to install this so we'll click run uh, your language probably English maybe not and then just next I agree um, install and then I'm not sure how long it'll take so probably pretty quick um, so let me just show you guys this for a second um, while this is installing. Um, basically, this world's folder is the, the map, the band IPs, it's band IPs, the op. If you want to make yourself op so you can change your game mode and everything, one sec, I'll just do this. Yes. So that pops up and then you click yes. Um, but if you want to make yourself op, go into the op folder and you want to first, this is where a lot of people can't do, you need to. Um, right click and you have to go open with notepad or choose default program notepad is already on your computer you don't have to install it just go choose default program let's just find it ourselves and it should be here um, go to other programs if it's not here and you look just scroll through here and a notepad you need it um, but you already have it so 
what you have to do if you want to make yourself op, just type in your username. Uh, and then what else? Um, for server properties, I'll show you guys that in a second. But for, let's just install, finish installing Hamachi. So finish. Click that. And it should uh, come up. There we go. So we got this. I'm offline. I'm not sure why. Let's click on that. Create. You have to create. So let's click on this. Create. Um, you can select your name. I don't care what my name is right now, so <laughs> let's just create it right there. So we'll be creating your matchy thing. <sighs> I'm not sure how long this will take, but there we go. We got our IP. We got everything. So now what we can do, I'll just exit that for now. Now what we can do is create a network. So create a network. And if you if your friends want to join the server, they also need Hamachi, and they this is what they'll be typing in. They'll they'll be typing in the the network ID and the password. So let's just um you can't like type in the ID that someone's already used. So um be creative, but make try to make it simple. But since I'm not actually using the server, I'm just gonna do it like really really intense. And then the password I put is one two three because. Um, your friends also need to know the password so create and your so your friends need um, Hamachi also so what they have to do is go to network and join an existing network and they have to put the username of or the ID of it and the password of it so keep that in mind and since we have got this what we need to do now is network or sorry we need to go to system oh, wait where is it oh sorry we have to right click on 25 dot like whatever your IP is right click on that and do copy IPv4 address or it just says it right there if you don't want to copy it it's mine is 25.105.181 etc but yours will be similar but different so that's that's really important Hamachi so next thing we're gonna have to do is open this server properties and we need to open this with um, uh, what's it called notepad also so I don't think it will open select a program from a list of installed programs yes so this is exactly what I mean then you can go to notepad okay there we go this might look a bit com confusing but it's not at all um the bottom one um, message of the day you can have this as whatever you want say whatever your minecraft uh, server name is so let's just say funcraft I don't know where I got that from but um, max players. Um, since it's getting, it's, since it's running off your computer, probably not too high. So let's just do ten or ten. But I mean, you can do whatever you want. Server IP. This is the most important thing right here. Server IP. What you want to do is you want to click Control V and paste that number that you just copied, or you just want to. Oops. You want to. I'm uh, um, just click or right click and then paste. You want to paste those numbers right there. And then you can do whatever you want right here like you can change hardcore to false, um PVP to true, difficulty 1, game mode whatever you want, spawn monsters true or false. Um, and then when you exit, click save. That's really important. Now, how to start your server is really really easy. You just have to double click on this and then click run. So, here we go. It'll start running, and then after you've run it for the first time, it, it starts a lot easier. So it says done already. Um, but how to stop your server? All you have to do is exit this thing. You just have to exit that, and then it stopped. So yeah, let's just test the server, see if it works. So let's just start it, and if it doesn't work, we'll just figure it out, see what is wrong, and yeah. So let's just go open Minecraft. This thing is running. Um, login. Ooh, I think I have to update. Yes. Okay, sorry, but I'm not sure how long this will take. Because it is now 1.5.1. Or 1.5, I don't even know. <sighs> I think it's 1.5.1. But here we are. Sorry that I have to update. Here, I'll put it on full screen. Alright, whatever, I'll just leave it. And it might be a little bit late since I'm using Camtasia Studio. I'm not sure why it's frozen here. Is it frozen or what? think it like froze hmm <sighs> let's just close minecraft 
No? Yeah? Here guys, I'll, I'll be right back um, with when my Minecraft is working. Alright guys, so um, I think I'm just going to open it again. It just, it just stopped working last time, so let's just try to open it again. I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying this on camera just so you guys know it's like not like like the server act this this tutorial actually works so yeah um all right there we go so 1.5 let's go to multi multiplayer and then all my servers are 1.4.7 but let's just go to add a server and then don't need a name doesn't really matter so server address you want to do the same ip or this on um, the thing that you copied so click control v and then just um post it right there you want to click done and look right there zero to ten players we got connection let's try joining hopefully it's not whitelisted or something because I can change that there we go so um uh, there you go we are in my server people can join this if you tell them the Hamachi ID and everything and this is awesome we got our own server to play with our friends and do everything so let's just disconnect go back to multiplayer there it is. Um, as you can see, it says Funcraft because I put that in the properties. Just quit the game. Um, it says DuckTactics Gaming joined. Now we can just stop it by exiting. And it stops. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.